Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, this is Abdul Shaheed from the Muslim Life Coach Institute. Um, sun's in my eyes. Just wanted to share a quick message with you. Um, you know, uh, the pain, you know, like, uh, like many a times, um, I, I get asked questions about the issue of pain and uh, how can I be going through so much pain um, and yet my life is surrounded or I'm surrounded with uh, so many blessings. Um, and here's the thing, you know, pain is of two, like, let's just, for now, let's just say pain is of two types. Like um, there's, there's the physical pain and then there's the uh, emotional pain. And, uh, and that's simplifying it, right? Um, obviously it's a bit more detailed than that, but let's just keep it simple. Um, physical pain, emotional pain. Well, whichever one you're in, um, whichever one you go through, how can you be experiencing this? Is, and this is often what happens. Like I have clients, students uh, saying, you know, how is it possible that, you know, I'm surrounded I, and I feel guilty because of this. I'm surrounded by blessings. I've got so many blessings in my life. Yet I'm in this constant state of pain. I'm in this constant state of pain. Well, the thing is, you know, pain, um, you know, if you didn't if you hadn't figured it out already pain is almost like it's not almost it is a part of life it's actually a part of normal life um you bang your knees you're gonna be in pain you you hit the funny elbow uh, the funny bone in the elbow you're gonna feel a funny pain um you uh you get people shouting and screaming at you calling you awful names you're gonna ha you're gonna experience a you know an emotional pain um you go through some sort of um you know relationship challenge or a connect you know a challenge with people you're going to feel a level of emotional pain and sometimes it's physical pain right you get into a fight with someone physically it's going to be physical pain so here's the thing look pain is uh like i don't want to say that you should be you know you should be glut you know glutton for punishment you should go for the pain but what i'm saying is that pain is a normal part of life um, everyone experiences it, you know, the best of humanity, um, the best of creation, um, the Rusul and the Anbiya, um, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, um, they experience pain. So um, emotional pain, physical pain, it's normal. And I'm not saying that we should normalize it and make it okay and everyone should sit in it. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the, one of the biggest challenges that we have is that um, we have a struggle against pain. And in that struggle against pain, what happens is that um, we intensify that pain. We make it much more difficult. We make it much more, um, much more um, intense. Like I, I was trying to think of another word, like uh, another word, but actually intense describes it best because when you're in that pain, be it physical or emotional, it's still pain and, uh, and it affects us physically. So if you, you know, whichever one you're in, it affects us physically. We know that this is psychosomatic, right? So the thing is, um, if that's the case and you're experiencing that pain, um, then, you know, and, I, and I'm telling you on the one hand, that actually pain is a normal part of life. It doesn't mean you have to stay there, by the way. It doesn't mean you have to stay in pain, but sometimes you have to stay in pain for a little while. Um, when you're in labor, um, for, the, for the sisters, when you're in labor, like, um, like you're not getting out of that in a hurry, right? you know, like you don't know how long that's going to be. Um, and what happens, if you think about this, what happens is that in preparation for labor, you prepare your mind for it. You prepare your mind for it. You prepare yourself for it. You prepare to actually um, normalize. What, what you're doing is you normalize the pain. And because you normalize the pain, um, you don't find it. I'm surrounded by dogs. So... All right, and because you don't normalize it, I have to be careful. Anyway, because you don't normalize it, see, I was there sitting there thinking about the pain of being bitten. Um, so anyway, because you normalize it, um, then you are able to deal with it much better, even though it's a sustained period of pain. Think about this. It's a sustained period of pain. You're, you might be in labor for like 24 hours. Some people are in labor for longer, some people with less but it's a sustained period of pain. And it's not just a, a tiny pain, it's an intense pain. It's a, you know, it's both emotional and physical. So how is it that we can do okay 
with a sustained period of pain and still be okay? How is that, how do, how is that even possible? Like, uh, and, and the reason for that is, like, I won't keep you in suspense. The reason is simple. Because what we do is that we, we normalize it to some degree. We ex in other words, we accept it and, uh, and we stop struggling against it. And when you accept it and stop struggling against it, then something, like, something amazing happens, right? Something amazing happens. Actually, what happens is that um, you learn to um, process it, you learn to deal with it, you learn to actually overcome it. Sometimes you have to stay there for a little while, like, a, for example, a sickness. You stay there for a little while, but eventually you overcome it. And you overcome it, and, uh, you know, as... Um, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, you know, with every, with, every, uh, with every hardship, there is ease, right? They come together. You can come after each other or they come together. But either way, like, um, you can deal with it, you can process it, and you don't have to be in it forever. But the thing is, the biggest struggle that we've got is not the pain. So if, if there's one thing I want you to take away from this, the biggest struggle we've got is not the pain. The biggest struggle we have is the struggle. And for as long as you decide to stay in the struggle against pain, um, you're going to have a, a great deal of difficulty. So, I, you know, listen, this isn't meant to... Um, this is just to help you to understand what's really happening with emotional pain or physical pain. Like, and how we deal with it. And what is the qadr of Allah? Because everyone says, talks about qadr of Allah. What's the decree? Am I decreed to be in pain? Well, obviously, if you bang your elbow, you're decreed to be in pain. Right? If you're going to have a baby, you decree to be in some level of pain. Like if you have some sort of illness, you decree to have some level of pain. If you break up in a relationship, you're decreed to have some level of pain. Um, do you have to stay there? Do you have to, you know, swim in that feeling for, forever? No, of course not. But you do have to, you can significantly make it easier if you will take the steps to making it easier. So anyway, listen, folks. That's, I think that's enough. That's probably too much information for a Sunday morning. Um, just so you know, um, I'm in, in, in my group, I'll leave a link below this video. I'm going to release. Um, I'm going to release a class tonight. Um, it's going to be all. About, it's all. It's going to be all about um, self doubt, um, self sabotage, and uh, you know, just doing yourself over, and uh, and how not to do that. So anyway. Um, It'll be at 8 o'clock tonight. It'll be in the group and, uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Jazakum Lahir.